Hello folks, I'm Rod Machado for AOPA Live. Propellers are a very important part of a pilot's life, especially when they're attached to a propeller hat. But on a rare occasion, those connected to an airplane fail us in flight. And what's important to know is how they fail and what we can do about it if and when that rare event happens. So let me be upfront here by beginning upfront with the propeller. Here's an example, an extremely rare example, I might add, of an airplane after a forced landing that resulted from losing the entire propeller blade in flight. In 1% of all propeller blade accidents, the propeller comes clean off the airplane, and the only thing you can do here is to shut down the engine and find some place to land. Now, it's not surprising that these rare events are associated with poorly maintained airplanes with poorly maintained propellers. For example, an associate of mine was flying a poorly maintained air coupe when his propeller came clean off the crankshaft. He said, and I quote, he didn't realize it until about 45 seconds after it happened. Well, apparently the performance of his poorly maintained air coupe wasn't entirely dependent on the propeller being attached to it. Well, a more common yet still rare event is to have partial propeller blade separation in flight. In other words, some or all of a propeller blade departs the airplane. In this instance, this champ hit a bird and cracked the propeller tip and of course, didn't do too much for the bird. On most occasions, the load imbalance, the asymmetric load imbalance from partial blade separation results in extreme vibration requiring the pilot to immediately reach over and pull that power back to flight idle. Now, did I say immediately? Yes, I believe I did. I said immediately reduce power to flight idle to prevent damage to the engine mounts. Damaged engine mounts could result in the loss of an engine, and when I say loss of an engine here, I literally mean loss as in no longer there, which is never a good thing for the home team. Here's a picture of my dear friend Danny Mortensen's Rutan Racer. This airplane lost half a propeller blade in flight during an air race. Danny immediately pulled the throttle back upon experiencing extreme vibration, and you can see that uh, the engine mounts appear to have broken and the airplane engine is now misaligned slightly. So, and that was because mainly because of a high G situation in air racing. If you happen to be flying a multi-engine airplane and experience extreme vibration, then you should reach over, grab however many throttles you have and pull them back, mainly because you don't know which engine has the broken, broken propeller blade. Only then should you bring the power up on one engine at a time and use the remaining unaffected engine for flight. Now we can go a long way in preventing propeller blade separation by having our propeller properly maintained. And that's why you should visit AOPA's sexy new website and type in the words propeller care in the search field. What you want to do is look for an excellent article by Master A&P mechanic Jeff Simon on propellers. It's well worth the read. Folks, here's the big takeaway I want you to remember. In my last AOPA Live presentation on control flutter, I mentioned that if you experience extreme vibration as a result of control flutter, you should reach over and pull the power aft to flight idle and slightly load the elevator while slowing the airplane down at the same time. And that's just what my friend did here when his propeller blade fractured in flight. He pulled the power aft immediately and slowed down. And then he brought the power up slightly to see if operation of the engine was still possible. Depending on how much of the propeller is actually missing and whatever airplane engine prop harmonics are in play, it's sometimes possible to run the engine to low to mid RPMs. Well, that didn't work out in this instance. So, he prepared to land on a road, except that a guy in a Jeep was using the road at the same time and hogging the entire thing. And that's when my friend's wing accidentally tapped the top of the Jeep, resulting in Jeep man signaling, okay, you can play through. Well, <laughs> this worked out well for him. Remember that, extreme vibration, throttle back, slight load on the controls, that's how you handle that problem. folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Rod Machado for AOPA Live.